Jonathan Oren's daughter flew home to the East Coast from USC. She brought something with her, COVID. We decided that it was important to uh, get tested since she was coming from a hot spot. She was totally asymptomatic, felt well. And sure enough, she was positive. Uh, my wife and I were negative. Orens happens to be a doctor at Johns Hopkins, so his colleagues told him about a clinical trial at the hospital, giving those exposed to COVID plasma rich with antibodies from someone who recovered from the virus to help prevent them from getting sick. Antibodies are the natural defense of the immune system. They bind to the virus in the body and prevent it from um, it from causing infection, from causing damage, from getting into cells. So it's basically like goes in and mops up the infection. Dr. Judith Courier is the head of the Division of Infectious Diseases at UCLA. UCLA has partnered with the Johns Hopkins on two clinical trials, one for those who have been exposed to COVID and the other for those who are already sick. So we think that by taking the antibodies from a person who's been recovered and giving them to somebody who just got diagnosed with COVID, we can limit the disease. With a vaccine, it takes weeks for a person to build antibodies, but with a transfusion of plasma, protection is almost immediate. It's also minimally invasive. They inserted an IV in our arms, and then um, just like receiving a blood transfusion, we received uh, a plasma transfusion. Um, we had no side effects from the transfusion. The trials started in June and should continue until the end of the year. UCLA is actively looking for participants. For those who have tested positive for COVID, they need to have had symptoms for less than eight days to enroll. For those who have been exposed, it must have been within the last 96 hours. As for Orens, neither he nor his wife ever came down with COVID. Both of these trials are what they call a double blind study, which means both the doctor and the participant do not know whether they're getting the plasma or a placebo. So at this point, it is unclear if these treatments have been successful. Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News.